Over the years, many people have attempted to find the best car in Jailbreak, myself included. Jailbreak is so complicated that it becomes hard to find one car that will consistently perform well in every scenario. So I made a test of 16 different factors to find the best car in Jailbreak. The 25 best cars all at once. First, we head to the drag strip. So this is a lot of data, but I'll try to sum up the important bits. The cars are sorted in the order in which they finished the drag strip, and the Scorpion won that category. The vehicles with the fastest launch were the Successor and the Aperture, both reaching 78 miles per hour in a single second. The fastest vehicle to 100 miles per hour was the Roadster, doing so in under 1.4 seconds. The fastest vehicle to 200 was the Roadster again, doing so in just over 5 seconds. Only 5 vehicles made it to 300 miles per hour on the drag strip and the fastest to do so was the Scorpion at under 16 seconds. Now we test the braking. This tests how long it takes for a vehicle to go from 200 miles per hour to 0 miles per hour. I first reach a speed over 200 miles per hour, then I hit the brakes and I start measuring the braking time once I hit 200 miles per hour and it stops when I hit 0. If you want an explanation for why this works, I have a video linked in the description that describes that. That was pretty quick. The fastest vehicle was the Roadster, going from 200 to 0 in just over 6 tenths of a second, and the slowest was the Scorpion, taking almost 2.5 seconds. Next are some factors that I can't leave out. Reverse speed, handling, off-roading, and seating capacity. The vehicle with the fastest reverse speed was the Brulee, reaching 120 miles per hour in reverse. A few vehicles tied for the best handling. The Roadster, the Proto 8, the Molten, the Beignet, the Snake, the Venom, the MCL36, and the Parisian. Two vehicles tied for the best off-roading, the Torpedo and the Arachnid. And then for seating capacity, every vehicle had a seating capacity of two, except for the MCL36, which only seats one, the Airtail, which seats three, and the Concept, which seats four. Next, we go to the jailbreak map for six more tests. First, a drive from the prison through the town. The Roadster finishes first with a time under 9 seconds. The Manta was just a few hundredths of a second off, also finishing in under 9 seconds. Test number 2 is the drive from the prison to the Rising City Bank. This time, the Manta comes first, followed by the Roadster, the Successor, and the Aperture, which all finish in under 15 seconds. Next is a drive from the Jewelry Store to the Rising City Bank, going through the tunnel. The Roadster wins this test by almost half a second. This time, the vehicles with better handling performed better. Test 4 is a drive from the Rising City Criminal Base to the Tomb. This is the first time the cars go off-road. The Roadster wins again, followed by the Manta and the Carbonaro, which has not placed this high in any other test so far. 
The penultimate test is a drive from the Level 4 police base by the museum to the cargo port. The Roadster and the Successor again take the top spots. This is another test where handling really matters as cars like the Proto 8 and Power 1 with their incredible handling place higher than usual. The final test is a drive from the old airport to the Crown Jewel. This list looks completely different. The Scorpion, after finishing near the bottom of the other tests, wins this one, and the Roadster, after dominating the other tests, comes in 18th place. And that's the end of the tests. Now that we've compiled all the data, let's put it to good use. I've come up with an equation that takes into account the scores of every test, but it also looks at an importance factor of every test. On screen now is every test that I did with the importance value that I assigned. Factors like seating capacity, which are not very important, get a low value, while factors like launch, which are very important, get a high value. Also, the final equation is 65% drag strip scores and 35% jailbreak map scores, since driving a course introduces some error. If you want to see the full equation that I used, I explain it in the first video linked in the description. Now that we have final scores and importance values for all the tests, let's see the results. Here's the final list. The Successor wins, followed by the Roadster, the Aperture, and the Manta. If you want to see the full spreadsheet with every value, then check the description, I linked it there. The final score comes directly from the equation. It's not really out of anything, so it can't be written as a percentage or a score out of 100. Also, just because the Aperture got a score that was two times the score of the Wedge does not necessarily make it twice as good. Every vehicle on this list is better than every vehicle below it and worse than every vehicle above it. So that's it. The successor wins based on my factors, but there still is some room for error. It's highly likely that you don't agree with some of the decisions that I made, and that's okay. I tried to make fair tests and rank them as fairly as possible, but if you have any suggestions, then leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them.